Hello everyone and welcome back to A Wandering Work Plays Morrowind. Uh, it's been a little while. I did record another episode on Wednesday, uh, but unfortunately my video driver crashed and then I tried to export my audio and it just didn't work for whatever reason, so I may as well recap. So of course I was at Orvestrun's uh, Netch Plantation, uh, which is another matter entirely I'll get into in a moment. Uh, the Myrnaherm informed me that I needed to still go talk to the contacts that he was apparently threatening into supporting me for the council. Who'd have thunk? Uh, so not only is he threatening council members, but also I'm running around on his plantation trying to find the slave keys to free all the slaves because I'm, uh, you know, I'm, I'm a liberator now. And I find a key for his storage shed, which happens to be filled with uh, moon sugar. Well, I have an obligation to Chaos to stack as much moon sugar on that table as possible. Uh, so yeah, of course I had to steal all the moon sugar. I couldn't possibly sneak by that guy. I was out of chameleon charges and he went crazy. And then I walk out the door and the guards are going crazy. So I kill all the guards. So basically, yes, I stole all the moon sugar, freed all the slaves, killed all the guards. That's what happened last episode. Also, I talked to the council members that Orvastren threatened and discovered that no, he is not a simple niche farmer. He's definitely like a drug lord or something. Uh, so yeah. Who knew? Hey. Uh, so that's uh, pretty much what happened last time. Uh, in my my sorrow for uh, not being able to actually record the episode, I did the only thing that- Oh my god! My dagger is back. I thought I lost that. Soul drinker. I use it to trap souls. Okay. Um, well, I did the only thing that I could think to do, and that is decorate my house a little bit more and, you know, add to- to Mount Chaos over here, uh, which I think is coming along pretty nicely. I think with a little more moon sugar, it'll start spilling over the sides and probably start going around the floor. Chaos really needs to start coming back so we can eat a little bit of this moon sugar, but for the time being, here it is. Oh yeah, baby. So, yeah, yeah, the apartment's coming along nicely. I definitely ran out of room, so I had to go sell all my stuff. Well, not all my stuff. I'm gonna show you something really weird, but I have to show, I have to turn off the effects to do it because I have so many torches upstairs. So this is now my two-story apartment, I have decided. Um, so I hope, I really hope that, uh, the weird hobo that hangs out near my instruments is upstairs. That would be the best. There's also a woman that always runs upstairs pretending that she doesn't like, that she isn't looking for moon sugar or something. Is there something this is I that can woman. do for you? She's always on my roof. Yeah, no respect for other people's roofs. So yeah, let's turn down the effects because this really gets crazy. So I'm just gonna turn them, like, way down. Otherwise, Trust me, this would drive you nuts. So all these torches go off and they just go cray cray. Um, so normally my little hobo, he hangs out right here and he's uh, super high, I guess. At least he used to be. He used to be surrounded by piles of moon sugar before I acquired them and put them on Chaos's table. Of course, a better use in my opinion. But he had something very interesting to say to me as well last time. Uh, so basically what he said is the, the leader of Balmor is like super crooked and there's a dude over at Moonmoth Fort that I can talk to. Uh, that will, uh, that is trying to, like, set things straight and hasn't had any luck. So maybe I'll get to, like, overtake a local leader. That would be really fun. I mean, I've already done enough political unrest here in the area, so may as well keep going. Uh, and also, <laughs> I have a bit of a sort of outdoor library gathering on the roof of my apartment because I just don't have the room. So yes, here's all my incredibly expensive... Uh, alchemical station, which I've never used. Oh, I did use once whenever I made, uh, do I still have it? No, I don't think so. Malfalcon drained that agility. That's when it came in handy. Of course, I have Book of the Daedra with Daedra Hearts. All these books I am planning on getting to and reading at some point. Now that's definitely going to happen. So, uh, without further ado, on to Vivek. But we want to be epic and jump over the side of our building like ha ha so that everyone in Balmora can see us leaping and we're gonna pretend that we didn't get hurt just now like ah all right we gotta go to the mages guild oh loading area that's new um Dunmer. hey how's it going shagram go shog dog so yeah on to vivic good old mages guild to port away lore port uh, so yeah, I'm what actually, I'm not Balmora? too unhappy with how everything turned out. We missed a little bit of action, but that's okay. We have the recap, and that's what recaps are for. Recaps are the best, so. 
All right, so I'm not actually sure exactly where I'm supposed to go in Vivek. All I know is that I have two council members out of the way, unless you count Crassius Curio. That is three. Ooh. Why, thank you. Everyone is just so polite to me here ever since I uh, pretty much took over the place. All right, Vivek. Vive. All right, so I'm not With really pleasure. sure where to go Please. here. Maybe we'll go try ahead. to seek out Ingling Half Troll. Probably a time when we need to consult our journal. Now, I do know that they won't be in the Mages Guild, so we'll just I'm make our way past glowy eyeballs here. I enjoy the company. Do, you, do you ever move from the hallway? Just curious. Like, what do you guys do all day? You slackers. You just stand here talking all day long, every day. Every time I come to Vivek, you're right here. Like, I hate the Guildmaster. Me too, but fuck it. We just stand here on top of the stairs, so what's it matter? That's a very good point. Oh, she moved! She moved! I don't think I've ever seen her move! Oh my god! She got really upset at me making fun of her. Okay, I'm out. I'm out. I can take a hint. Okay. So, let's see here. Let's get our little... Oh. You look like trouble to me. Oh. Talk with you? I think I look like... Something tells me I might regret it. I should probably he hitting wash on me? up before heading home. Ew! Oh, he's definitely not hitting on me. Whoa, God. Oh, I should probably wash up before heading home. Ew. He thinks he's, like, dirty just from being in my vicinity? No. You're just dirty. How about that? Look at dirty freaking pants. Yeah, go wash up. You should wash up. It's hygienic. Okay. Cassius is all depressed. And then he's like, I don't believe I've seen such a, a dark elf with such a grand outfit in some time. Can I help you? <laughs> Um, actually, I'm going to ask you uh, for some little rumors. You got any rumors? I've heard that Bale and Andrano over in the Redoran section has had a real rough time lately. He's losing a lot of business. Oh, cool. Bale and Andrano, I think I screwed that guy over. He was like, um, maybe spreading rumors about someone else's shop. And then the shopkeep paid me to go find out who was saying it, and I think it was him, and then she said that she was gonna go fuck shit up. So, kinda sounds like she did, if that's the same guy, Balin Androno. I'd like to think I don't have a horrible memory for names, but I do have a horrible memory for these names. So, that's just the way it is. Ah, oh, Vivek always has such a pretty, like, kinda countryside view here. Oh, look, we'll go look at the praying statues and check our journal. That's how we do things here in Vive. Ah, oh, that is so pretty. All right, here we go. So, yeah, Nevena Ules was very nervous when I asked her to confirm me as Hortator of House Halalu. I'm sure she was, since Orvostran apparently threatened her life. Uh, what was it again? If she knew what was good for her, she would confirm me? Yeah, she agreed immediately and seemed very anxious to please me. Now I have her vote for her Hortator. Yes. Uh, I've been given a recent edition of the Yellow Book of House Halalu. Yeah, one of them gave- the other lady, um, though, Valanda Omani, was, like, not worried- Oh, she was apparently anxious, but I didn't really think she was anxious when I talked to her. When I asked that Valanda Omani name me Hortator of House Halalu, she agreed immediately. She seemed very anxious to please me. Now I have her vote. Well, that's... Apparently I'm lazy in my own journal. I just, like, kind of repeat paragraphs. Hey, whatever. My journal, my words, my lazy. I can do whatever I want. All right, so... I do have those two down. She did tell me, though, Halalu Hortator, so I know the other ones that I have to be... She... Will you give me a suggestion? He said, I'm sure you can persuade Drom Barrow to support you as Hortator. Have I talked to him? I don't think I have. So I have to talk to Drom Barrow. And, uh, Orvostren has Nevana Ules and Volanda Omani in his pocket. I probably should have read that before and then I would have known that they're, like, indebted to a drug dealer. Uh, or niche farmer. You might want to make a little trip to the Dren Plantation before talking to them. And then there's Ingling Half Troll. Okay, so we have Drawn Barrow and Ingling Half Troll, and that's it. So let's ask. Ooh, not Crassius. Crassius. Stop being so selfish. I'm not asking about you. Let's try this again. Little suggestion. No, crap. It's so hard to click on that. Why am I having such a hard time? All right, little suggestion. Eh, there we go. Drawn Barrow. Drawn Barrow is very secretive. He lives somewhere in Vivek. Damn it. Okay, well, I'm gonna have to find Drum Barrow at some point here. Now, we need to look at... May as well ask... Oh, no, that's right, because I wanted to talk to everyone before Ingling, because he just wants me to, like, kill him. Half Troll's a foreigner like me, but he simply doesn't understand the Dunmer like I do. If you were to dispose of him, the other counselors would not be upset. If you kill any of the rest of us, of course, it's a different story. He lives in Ingling Manor in the St. Olms Canton. All right, so we're gonna head towards St. Olms. Um... 
So we're going to head towards St. Elm's, no harm in finding, like, the Angling Manor at least. And then we'll ask about Dram, what's his butt, like, on the way. So, because it's Vivek. Aw. We're going to jump. That was our plan all along. Because it's Vivek, we're going to jump. Here we go, my god. And not get hurt, because we're so freaking ninja. Yeah, all right, no, I'm in the wrong, I'm in the wrong area. Oh god, oh. I did it, I almost fell in the water. Then I would have had to go in through the sewers. Gross. Although I've been there before. Oh, I bet I could go back and take out that entire temple that's down there. Although it would be a little bit messed up. But I could do it. All right, so. Oh, did I turn the effects back up? Just double checking. I'll turn them like, that's probably okay for now. They're very quiet now though. Well, whatever. It's doing that weird, uh, Dwemer Ruin thing. There we go. All right, so we want to get to St. Olm's, which I believe is in the Temple District. Unless I'm mistaken. It's actually, like, right there, I think. Will she take me there, though? No. So we're just going to yes, go there. What do you we can make our way. We can do- ooh. This way. Yes. There we go. Is this St. Olm's? I wish it had, like signs. Oh, St. Elm's Canal North 3. Good enough for me. So, excuse me, I'm looking for... You're not a dreamer, are you? Please don't be. I'm looking for someone in particular. Thank you. I am looking for... Why is she telling me about Volando Omani? I've already talked to her. Psh, old hat. I'm actually looking for Ingling Half Troll. If you could point me in the direction of Ingling, I know that he's on. You know what? He's in a manner. He's going to be at the top, no doubt. All right, so we're just going to go straight to the top because screw these these little plebeians, these peons, like hanging out in the bottom level here. We don't need to worry about them. So, if we had a little bit of magicka, we could just float up. If we used a magicka potion, which for some reason we're reluctant to do, we could also do the same. But we're not going to do that because we're reluctant to do it. So. Ramps it is. We're doing the city the right way, the way that the citizens do it. We're impressed with ourselves, aren't we? Who's this we we're talking about, you say? Well, Watch you may never know. We'll have no trouble here. Oh, 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 uh, but, ordinator, look, buddy, I've been meaning to talk to you. Actually, St. Delon Canton. I ask myself, do I like you enough to tell you about this? No, probably not. I guess I'm gonna bribe you. All right, now, do you like me enough now? Either that I threw a thousand gold your way. You're a thousand gold richer than your buds, okay? You're generous and a street feet and your judgment is good. Cool, tell me about the St. Delon Canton. The residence cantons for commoners and paupers. The temple charges very reasonable rents for comfortable workshops, shops and apartments, and most of Vardenfell's crafts and light industry is housed in these cantons. The Abbey of St. Delon, the Wise, is on the top tier of St. Delon. And Halalu, England, half troll, has a top tier manor on St. Alms. I don't think, I don't think Delon was that other guy, was it? Was it? It could have been. Uh, let's see. No, Drum Barrow is the other guy that I have to talk to, so no, not here. All right, so how do I get upstairs from here? St. Elm's Farmer and Laborer's Hall? No. Alms Tanner and Miner's Hall? No, not what I'm looking for. Um, We might have to break out our levitate spells after all, because, ah, uh, Vivek. Vivek, why are you so crazy? Maybe there's another ramp that uh, we have to actually use for this. I can't wait to see Ingling Half Troll. I mean, he has spawned such hatred for a reason, I should imagine. He has no love for the Dunmer ways, or do they have no love? What the heck is a half troll, anyway? Hi, is there something Sadis. I can do for you? Possibly, I don't know. Oh, she likes me like a lot, all things considered. Uh, so that's pretty impressive. Oh, maybe Ingling Half Troll will actually tell me the location of Dren, or whatever his name is. <gasps> Ingling Manor, here we go. Quick save. I know he said that I'm supposed to kill him. We'll see. We'll keep our minds open here. Sorry, stranger. Hey. My time oh. is short, so get on with it. Uh, Falgor? Hi. Hi, Falgor. Oh my god, you can train me. 
N no, you can't. Okay, he's... Oh, he's annoyed. He's like, oh, you should have known that. I'm with House Halalu. Why did you even Say ask me you for like training? You like to dance close to the fire, don't you? Yeah, sometimes. I mean, if I can't, like, see myself dancing, you gotta see yourself. You know what I'm saying? You been to Club Out, Daedra? Star? Star? His name is Star? Okay. I'm... I'm Sevi Annalise Street Fate. I'm Star. Don't worry. Vivek can be confusing for us, and we live here. Ha <laughs> ha. Is there some specific place you want, or someone in particular you're trying to find? Well, you kind of say the same thing as everyone else, Star, but wow. I'm like in love with you now. Because your name is Star, and you have that tattoo on your face. If I could bring you with me, I would. Uh, but I would warn you in advance that my followers don't tend to... Ooh, what are you doing? See, he's got the hots for me, too. I don't blame him. Oh my god, Ingling Half-Troll! Oh my god, you're not what I expected at all. I kind of expected, you know... I mean... <clears throat> a Half-Troll. But... Okay. Alright, Thread 2.0. This is the sacred city of Vivek. Count your blessings. Can I help you find someone in particular? Or are you just looking around? You know what, I'm gonna persuade you, Ingling. Just right off the right off the bat, you're a counselor. I know it. You're way too nice to be a counselor, uh, for one thing. But uh, let's ask you about a hortator. Can you just make me a freaking hortator? I would really appreciate it. Look, Halalu hortator. I'm gonna tell him my story, and I'm gonna ask to be confirmed as a hortator. And on this one, I'm actually gonna make it seem like I've been blessed by some really like masculine uh, gods that think that I'm awesome, and I hit with my fists of justice. And might. And then I'm gonna mention that I traveled with Winesot uh, for a long time because he probably knows him because I think like all Nords know each other, right? Like they have to, right? They're all naked for a reason. They're all like passing like notes back and forth or something. I don't know. All right, so I'm gonna tell my story. Ask him to be confirmed as Hortator. That's a touching story, but if you don't have 2,000 drakes, you won't get my vote. <laughs> I just gave him like 2,000. Okay, whatever though. Oh, so they're called drakes. Are they called something different? Every single time I ask, I think they are. So Annalise kind of mumbling to herself, wondering about the meaning of money names, and he's kind of sitting there like, "So do you have it? Do you fucking have it?" And I'm like, "All right, I'm gonna, all right, I'm gonna give Ingling two thousand drakes. A pleasure doing business with you, Annalise Street Feet. And I'm a man of my word. You got my vote for the office of Hortator of House Halalu. Once you get everyone's vote, talk to Crassius Curio." Fuck yeah! Definitely don't want to be killing you, Ingling Half Troll. I don't know why you're called Half Troll, but all right. That is a mystery for the ages. Can I please ask you? Can I ask you about your name? Who's that? Why am I asking you about him? Okay. Um. All right. Wow. What's your background, dude? I'm Ingling Half Troll, noble and councilman of Great House Lalu. Good for you. That's not really arena. No, oh, I know about that. All right, no, but the dissonant priest. Um, do you? Can you tell me anything about not Orvis Dren, uh, the other dude? No, nobody can tell me about him. How am I supposed to find that guy? I've gotta find him somehow. Someone has to tell me something. Someone's in the know here. Okay, well, anyway, we succeeded with Ingling Half Troll. He's probably a huge fan of ours now. I'm pretty sure that our story about Winesot helped us go a long way. He was probably going to charge us 5,000. We threw Winesot's name in, and he's like, Only 2,000 for this handsome lass and her Winesot friend. Friend to the Nords, Anna Lee. Is that you, Don't Star? Stand about. Oh, yes, sir. Say your needs. Mm, okay, all right, well. I'm out of this place. All right, so what we need to do, we have a couple of things to do here. Oh, right, right, right. I have a public notice that I've been reminded that I should have read. So let's take a look at it. This is the public notice that was given to me by Athens Serethi uh, in the Redoran Council Hall. So it's a while ago, but this is apparently what everyone's been saying about me, all right? Well, beloved people of Morrowind, take heed, take warning. The outlaw named Annalise Streetfeet stated trade of monk, lately called incarnate and nereverine, now is shown to the investigating ordinators and the magistrates of this district to be an agent in the pay of the Imperial Intelligence Service. This outlaw's claims are false. The prophecies this outlaw cites are discredited. The dishonest character and base purposes of the outlaw in perpetrating this hoax are now made clear to all observers. 
Annalise Streetfeet is sought for various crimes by ordinators and town guards. Report all encounters with this outlaw to the proper authorities. If you see this outlaw in public, give the alarm. Published by the authority of the Temple, the Order of the Watch, Magistrates of Vardenfeld District, under the signature and authority of the Grand Master Burrell Sala, Captain of the Watch. Hear and heed! Okay. <laughs> Alright, well, first of all, I do have to say, yes, I am a spy. I mean, I'm not saying that out loud, because duh. But, yeah, how did they know that, though? I mean, like, who gave me away? Was it Cassius? Gee, I hope they're not, like, torturing him somewhere. At least they don't have to take his shirt off. I mean, he already did that for them. But I'm just saying, like... How do they know? Oh, uh, he probably just put a letter for a mission on somebody and then that was that. I mean, that's how everybody gets caught. Keep moving. What do you think of our city, Outlander? It's pretty okay. Okay, um... So I gotta find him. Oh, right, I was given a book as well uh, by the one of the council members who was threatened into... Uh, Oh no, I don't have the book on me. It's in Balmora. Crap. Well, I guess we're just going to kind of run around and ask for that dude. Maybe we'll go back to Crassius and see what he has to say about it. Uh, I don't know. I don't know, but I think that might be... That might be for next time, though. I think we've done a, done a bit. Uh, we've had a nice little recap, and yeah. So next time we're going to find this other dude whose name I can never ever remember, but I think it's like Dren. So we'll go with Dren. Can I call him Dren? Yeah. So yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Feels like rain.